I remember my first job like it was yesterday. I was lucky enough to work in my family's business. I was fortunate enough that my dad and my uncle owned retail stores in Harlem, New York. They were kind of like Walmart retail stores, but not quite as big. Some of them were, well, one of them was really large and he sold things like medicine, hair, hair products. Um, also, he sold some household furniture um, and some floor, floor, flooring as well. So it was a real interesting business. So I got a chance to learn a lot of different things. I learned a lot working on that first job with my dad. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself because it was really tough convincing my father to give me that job at the time. Because at the time, I was only 13 years old. And in New York City, it was against the law for children that young to work. But since it was a family business and I wasn't really going to be on the payroll, you know, my dad had the option of hiring me. But he it, it took some convincing. So I, for weeks and weeks, I basically asked my dad, can I go to work? Can I work? Can I get a job? I really need a job. I want a job. And at first he said no. I was devastated. But I didn't give up. I kept asking. And I even got my mom to um, work on him and my, um, to request that he give me the job on my behalf. So between my mom and myself, my dad finally relented and allowed me and gave me a shot. What he said to me is, you know, you come to work, you work hard. I don't want to see you playing around. I don't want to see you, you um, talking and fooling around and and once you commit to doing it, you have to do it. It's going to be a 40 hour work week. I don't want to hear you're tired. You don't want to hear you say, can I go home or can mommy come get me? Once you agree that you want that, once you take the job, you have to do the job. My dad made it clear that once I agreed to accept the job, that I had to work 40 hours a week and I had to work the entire summer. Prior to, to agreeing to work for him, I usually spent my summers and um, went with my brothers and sisters and we normally went away to South Carolina to visit my grandparents and we would spend the entire summer there. But once I convinced, lobbied my dad for this job and agreed to work with the entire summer, so I stayed. My entire family actually stayed now that I think about it. My mom, my brother, my, my brother, two brothers and my sister all stayed in New York that year. And I worked um, that job. Now the first week I, I was a little nervous. Even though I was working for my dad, I kind of, I didn't know quite to expect. I remember it just like as if it were yesterday. Of, um, going to work with my dad and being nervous and asking him a ton of questions. Um, what am I gonna do? What do you need me to do? What can I do? And basically, when I got there, he said he wanted me to basically dust shelves. I was devastated. Dust shelves? That's all that? So, one step at a time. One step at a time. So, I can work the cash register. I can, you know, I could order stuff. I can, you know, price things. He said, you got to start. You got to start somewhere, son. You start cleaning up, dusting shelves. So the first day on the job, my dad gave me this pristine towel and I went about cleaning shelves, starting at the bottom, literally. So I cleaned the products on the bottom of the shelves and I was a little disheartened by that task, but it, but I, I, I took to it and I was committed to getting it, to doing it. and. First thing, as I said, I spent it working, um, cleaning the shelves, and um, it wasn't glamorous, it wasn't quite what I expected at all, and it was kind of tough, as I said, at the time I was only 13 years old, but I tackled it and I worked hard, and um, I spent that pretty much the first week cleaning up the shelves, making things look pristine, and um, I'll never forget the first day. It was fun because um, my dad bought me lunch. Uh, we didn't go anywhere, but he, uh, he bought lunch 
and we sat down, we ate lunch together, my first day on the job. And it was, um, I was proud to be there with my dad. You see, because I, I, I asked to work with my father, not so much because I wanted a job, but so much, but more so because I wanted to spend more time with my dad. My dad, you see, was a workaholic. He owned those businesses with his brother, and he worked in those businesses pretty much from the time the store opened from roughly 8 o'clock in the morning until the store closed at roughly 7 to 8 p.m. that night. And then after that, he, we'd drive home, he'd come home, um, have, have his dinner, take a, basically take a nap, and at 10, 11 o'clock at night, he'd get up and go to work and drive a bus on literally on Madison Avenue in New York City from um, midnight till eight in the morning. And that was my dad and he was amazing because um, I can remember going um, to work with him when he drove the bus in the middle of the night. And what he would do the first three or four hours until like three a.m. in the morning, he'd drive that bus up and down Madison Avenue. But in the middle of his route, well, during what was considered his break time at around 3.30, he'd take a nap and he'd sleep from 3.30 to roughly five in the morning, taking up roughly an hour and a half because he had tallied up enough time to have an extra half hour. And my dad would sleep an hour and a half and pop right up when it was time, when his, when his lunch hour, lunch break was over and begin driving again and drive through the morning and then get up and go, after he finished driving, go home Change, no, go straight to work at his business, change his clothes, and work the entire day. And he did that. Five, five days a week driving the bus and then worked on Saturdays at the store. And then on Sunday, we were in church. And so I never, literally never saw my father. So that was, a, so my getting a job working with him was an opportunity to spend more time with my dad, my hero. And also... I could get paid to do it as well. So I did it. And it was it was a good experience and um I learned a lot. One thing I learned, the first thing I learned, and I'll never forget it, is that once you start something you have to finish it because my father made it clear if I agree made, agreed to work for him, I had to work the entire week. There would be no reneging on that agreement. And um I have to say at first after the first week, I kinda missed you know, my friends and being in the park or, and going for bike rides and playing basketball and football and baseball, but a deal's a deal. And after that, I pretty much worked in my dad's business until I went away to college. And I have no regrets. It taught me a lot about working hard and following through. And I learned a ton of things. And basically, the things I learned from my father, the lessons I learned working in his business are with me to this day. That there's no, nothing I can't do and nothing I can't learn. My first job taught me a, a multitude of things and I'll never forget it. And it it's, was the foundation of pretty much my entire career of um, giving me the confidence that I needed to know that I could not only do well, but excel in anything I put my mind to. And I, I owe that to my dad. And, um, Understanding that a job is not just a job, it's a commitment. It's an agreement between two parties and you have to follow through and deliver as agreed. And you don't want to just deliver, you want to excel. You want to be the very best you can be. And that takes hard work. And my dad taught me hard work is nothing to be afraid of. I am eternally grateful for that lesson.